Hi guys, yesterday I posted a video about speed modeling a shoe. Um, today I'm going to show you that some tips uh, I use that on that tut uh, speed modeling um, because in the Reddit some artists are asking me how I made the sole and uh, uh, stitches. So I'm going to explain it in this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and. Uh, hit like button so that uh, I could bring you more videos so let's start and you can also check that video if you didn't check out that uh, now what I'm what I did here I'm making some poly groups so that um, the poly group uh, is helping me to crease the um, value the crease the edges actually not the value the edges you can yeah, use this option uh, it is polish by group uh, you can uh, see that I'm using it on the deformation tab now what I'm going to do here now it's little bit complicated but it is my process how I approach to soul okay so you have to scale it uh, the border to the window is like this okay now we grab a screenshot of it and go to the Photoshop and wait yeah I po paste it here so now what I uh, frequently did do <coughs> just uh, grab the main reference what I have for the soul okay here it is uh, it's not has to be appropriate egg light egg, uh, totally uh, perfect you can do it still uh, I just roughly align it so that I could see I could have the um, sole under over it now um, I just uh, colorize so that I can see the grooves like grips now what an, an, an another layer I just uh, paint the strokes like this this yeah so it is straightforward uh, you can uh, also did that if you have a alpha uh, you can go in google just grab a alpha but i have i i want to to be uh, the soul is from this soul that's why i'm making this otherwise you can just grab a alpha from google that will also help no problem at all i'm just trying to create a black and white alpha So now I'm speeding up the process. I, I don't want that you see the alpha making process from scratch. <coughs> now one thing um, you have to do, you will see me that I'm painting grey color o over it. Also, like now you can see this. So why I'm doing it? Because um, I want to be the depth should be a uh, little differ from the black one. I mean the grey one should go uh, in ZBrush if you al apply the alpha the grey one is going little bit and the black one going more of it so I am doing a different from that, pers pers that perspective uh, now you, I am almost done with alpha making process but uh, I have to do one more thing uh, you will see me doing that wait yeah uh, now the alpha is stop over it as you can see now I'm stretching little outwards to that uh, soul's outline so that uh, it only not applied on the middle section it also cover the side also okay so I'm just stretching a little bit with wrap on Photoshop yeah so it's almost done 
now here it is the alpha we got now you will see me aligning some the crop border to that uh, point that is uh, the zebra's outline and that's really um, helps when you uh, want to drag a alpha i will show that you now you have to crop that from this this save it as a jpeg now go to the g brush and make sure uh, before applying the mask uh, your um, shoes division is high so that it could capture the alpha okay now go to the mask brush and apply uh, add that ma alpha to it yeah now align the corner to corner that what i'm told you that uh, time on g brush that border uh, you have to align your mask to that corner to end okay now inflate it um, but you have to play around it so that uh, you could get the most best example like you can see me like aligning this corner to corner if you uh, align this corner to corner your alpha automatically fits to your soul there no worries about it uh, and before inflating anything uh, make sure you have a layer so that do it in a layer I'm doing an inflation and checking that um, which uh, option is working best. Now, yeah, sometimes you have to give a blur to it. Just control and click on the mesh, it will blur. Uh, you can check that out that it is working or not. And before applying the alpha, uh, make sure you have the morph target set so that you could erase the unwanted areas okay let me speed that for you wait a little bit okay now it's done now um for this uh, jackiness, uh, go to the clay polish in the subtle menu and hit clay polish. Sometimes it uh, fix, but sometimes it won't. Uh, you have to try this. Okay, uh, it's not. Uh, it's about topology actually. Uh, if if your uh, topology is good enough, then it should work. But uh, it, in my case, it is not working. So that. Uh, uh, there is a one more process I have to do. I will show you in a bit. So what you have to do, just duplicate this mesh and remesh it. Okay, G remesh it. So and do it in a little less polygon. Okay, it 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 would create a your um, uh, a duplicate low poly version of it, but not too low poly. Okay, just little bit reduced from that poly count not this much mm. sorry guys if this video is already recorded and i am speaking with it so that will i am struggling with it forgive me for that uh, now the g brush g remesh yeah you can see this uh, this is enough now in this division if you hit clay polish then it it could help uh, really a lot okay you can see the no more jagginess is looks clean clean totally the clay polish is really handy option you can sharpen any uh, smooth ob uh, objects with it if you apply a mask and hit clay polish then it will only apply to that portion only okay so that was the sole part now the stitches now you see me that uh, i'm making polygroups of it uh, why i'm going to tell you in a bit you have to make panels of it okay like this and leave little far from your uh, border edges okay have that little gap from there you will understand why i am doing this it's hard to tell you now so just watch it
okay now i have the uh, i have to separate the main panels like where i want the stitches okay i will be polygrouping that as one yeah okay not the inner side only i need only the outer side uh, if the inner side is came out with it you have to struggle you struggling with it so leave it we can delete the stitch also no problem with that okay now you can see i got the outer part if this is the inner part and this is the outer part okay now you have to go the mm, strokes curve function and trace uh, frame mesh okay so it will create a curve around that polygroup what we have now i am creating the stitch brush actually uh, you can download it from uh, google if you search but i don't have that much time so i think it will be help also if you can make the stitch brush by your itself so i'm making this okay let's make it this type of thing in a uh, another sub tool okay and i'm going to use symmetry i guess to uh, be more precise of it okay think that is a single stitch just take a little bit time my english is really bad making hurry is not a good thing for your art okay so i'm jiri meshing it and if you turn on your um, symmetry and then jiri mesh then it uh, it will jiri mesh the both side as same so that will really help so like you can see that i if you, if i turn on the symmetry and jiri mesh it and it comes out really fine okay no no need to it divides too much it's literally a small object so think as a frequency mesh frequency uh, if you, if the object is small no need to be uh, make Uh, more detail okay so now what i am going to do i i need two brushes so that i could use it in later okay i duplicated it to the side and uh, place in the middle uh, you can see that uh, i have two sub tools one is single to second is double i renaming it i'm going to rename it first one should be single and second one is double okay now go to the brush menu and hit create multi brush <coughs> okay now you can see that they come out on the top now if you just drag out then it will be stick from your mesh okay now turn on curve mode and the setting that you saw there try weld point and the curve strength full angle full now you can see okay you can draw that it will have like this if you select one then it will come now you have to increase the distance between the two stitches so go to the curve and curve step increase it little bit okay so it's done now what we have on the other curve uh, now just you have to click on the curves because we trace already it so size your brush outside of your mesh on the viewport and just click on it it will allow allow to uh, add the stitches to it so as you can see that i added stitches so quickly i don't need to draw all them one by one 
and this way the frame mesh can help you to make a curve quicker so that you can attach any imm brush to that curve okay so this is it i know i um, you did you did see the all videos um, the before videos from that shoe so thanks for watching me and keep supporting me okay if you didn't see that my this speed modeling video then must check out uh, it is on the uh, what is it uh, i have given the link down below and uh, on the top so uh, hope you enjoy it and learn something new and if you learn something please support me so that uh, we could take it so further thank you subscribe me like this video if you like it then <laughs> see you next time bye bye